Hi guys, this is Mr. Adams from Midway High School, and I hope everyone is staying safe. Okay, um, this video is on oxides versus peroxides, okay? Now, the reason I'm making this video, I was asked a question, a very good question, in terms of how come, right, peroxides don't have a negative 2 oxidation state, okay? And funny enough, I asked myself that question many, many years ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Um, when I was taking chemistry, how come how come peroxides don't have a negative two oxidation state? So here goes. All right. Now we know from experience, right? Peroxides are polyatomic ions. Okay, they can be found on table E, right? So in the in the right column in the middle, oh, uh, you can see them there. Now, in order to recognize peroxides, right, two things must happen. You must 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 have either. Uh, element from either group one or group two, and it must be combined with the peroxide polyatomic ion O2 to minus. Okay, now the thing is, I'm asking a question right here is there aluminum peroxide? Okay, and it's not a trick question, but the thing is, you can't have aluminum peroxide. Why is that? Because aluminum doesn't belong to group one or group two. Now, can you have aluminum oxide? Absolutely, because you have Al, right? Okay. Okay. Al, which is plus three. And we have oxide, which is O. Fix this. Okay. All right. O minus two all right and when you crisscross right you're going to get al2o3 as aluminum oxide all righty let me see boom, boom. okay boom. okay so let me see a l two o three all right there you go all right so let's move on Oxides, on the other hand, regular oxides have elements or substances with your regular O minus two monoatomic ion. So this guy right here, all right, is monoatomic oxygen. This guy right here, right, there's two oxygens together, so it's poly and it carries a charge. All right, so let's do some um, crisscross. If you're asked to write the formula for sodium oxide, right, it will be Na. Okay, plus one, uh, and it will be with oxide ion, right? Okay, and when you crisscross, what are you going to get? You will get Na2O as sodium oxide. Now, if you were to do sodium peroxide, I'll use a different color. I can't try this green. All right, you will have Na. All right, plus one, and is combined with what? O2 minus two, okay? So what happens, guys, when you do the crisscross, right? This two right here goes to the Na, and the one that's here goes across to the O2 side. Now, this formula for sodium peroxide, I'll write it down in the bottom right here, will be N. A two O two. Okay. So the thing is, the question is also how come I can't reduce this two right here that I'm that I'm emphasizing? The reason being you can't reduce it, folks, is it what it belongs to a polyatomic ion. So you can never ever reduce the subscripts of polyatomic ions, okay? So I know it looks tempting. You want to reduce it because that's two and that's two. They should reduce, but you can never ever change um, the subgroup of polyatomic ions. So sodium peroxide is Na2O2. Just like hydro peroxide, it's H2O2, okay? So you can't reduce those guys for peroxides. Now let's do barium oxide. If you have Ba right, plus two for barium, and you have oxide, which is O minus two, what happens? Well, you simply get Ba2O2, right? Now, these, these um, twos right here, go ahead, reduce them, no problem. Your final answer is going to be BaO for barium oxide. 
okay? Because remember, this oxide refers to monatomic oxygen. It's not polyatomic, right? So BaO is your final answer. All right, so let's do barium peroxide, okay? Let me try and try a different color. Okay, try this gray. All right, so barium peroxide will be Ba plus 2, right? Combining with O, 2, minus 2. Okay, so barium peroxide's overall formula will be simply Ba2, okay? Now the oxygen, 2, we'll go in parentheses, and the two will go on the outside. Because what are we doing? We're crisscrossing this two over here, right? Now remember, if it's two or higher, this number's two or higher, you have to put a parentheses around the polyatomic ion. Now the question is, can I reduce this two and this two? Absolutely. So this two goes away, that two goes away, and the final formula for barium peroxide will simply be what? Will simply be BaO2. Okay, so barium peroxide, that's a formula, and if you com compare it with barium oxide, which is BaO, there you go. Now, last thing, the reason why peroxide has a minus one charge is simply this. You have two oxygens, all right, and they're carrying a total charge of minus two. Remember, the formula is what? The formula is O2, two minus. Two oxygens, two oxygens carrying a total charge of minus two, okay? So what's the value for one oxygen? One oxygen will be minus two divided by two, right? So we're just doing our simple math right here, all right? So each oxygen carries a charge of each oxygen carries a charge of minus one. All right, so there you go. All right, so that's why peroxides, folks, have a charge of minus one. When you're doing um, oxidation states, it's always, always, always for one element. Okay, it's not multiple elements. So minus two divided by two gives you minus one. As always, hard work and sacrifice equals success. Um, please, please, please stay safe, guys. We're going to get through this. Take care. Be well.